Hi, I'm Amy Gallagher, Director of the Planetarium at Raritan Valley Community College. We are offering lots of online opportunities and virtual field trips for our visitors. I wanted to give you a peek at some of what we have to offer. Let me show you our webpage. So if you go to the planetarium's webpage and scroll down, you'll see things to do at the planetarium. Plan a virtual field trip and watch from home are the two things that we'll focus on today. When you click on watch from home, you'll see about a dozen different full-length planetarium shows. We've been given permission to share these shows with our visitors on our website while the physical planetarium is closed. There are some programs for young people, some for general audiences. I encourage you to check them all out. They're a lot of fun. So if we go back to the planetarium page and click on plan a virtual field trip, we can get a lot of information here. There's an FAQ page because everybody's got frequently asked questions about planning a virtual field trip and a reservation form. When you think you know what you wanna do, click on that form. You can fill out your contact information, your um, requested dates and times and what shows, if you know what shows you want to see, and that'll help us get started with the scheduling process. There are many programs that you can choose from for a variety of ages. We are a planetarium. Everybody wants to learn about the stars and constellations, so we can do that. We have a digital program called Stellarium that we use to help us talk about the daytime and nighttime skies. We can talk about the daytime sky. We can watch where the sun rises and sets throughout the year. We can look at the stars and constellations that we can see. Hey, there's our friend Orion. If we click on Orion, we can play connect the dots and see the constellation here. We can talk about the mythology associated with the constellations. We can cre create all 88 constellations that are in the sky. Another thing I like about Stellarium is that we can zoom in to some of the deep sky objects that are here. So hanging down from Orion's belt is the Great Nebula in Orion, the Orion Nebula, N42. So by looking at this, we can talk about stellar evolution. And there are many other deep sky objects that we can talk about while we're looking at the sky. We can also turn around and look north. And in the northern sky, we see our friend, the Big Dipper, and the Little Dipper. So I like to look at the Big and Little Dippers with students. And one of the great things about the virtual planetarium is that the students are at home or they're at school, but they're sitting at a desk or a table and they can more easily have paper and pencil so that they can record their observations. So we can watch the Big Dipper and Polaris over the course of 24 hours and see how they change, how their positions change. We can keep drawing them every few hours and students can observe the motion of the sky, something that's much more difficult to do in the real sky. So again, what do we have going on with virtual field trips? Well, we've got that Tonight Sky program. And since it is a live program, it can be adapted for kindergarten. It can be adapted for adult groups. Then of course, there's Rock and Rocket Ride, our most popular program that we do here at the Planetarium for preschool and kindergartners. All the same characters and songs that you're familiar with are back again in this virtual presentation. To the Moon and Back is a new program we created for primary grades where we read a story about moon phases and then we look at them with Stellarium to see the moon changing shape in our sky. And then we do an activity where we see the moon phases, but they're out of order. Now we just learned what order they should be in. So let's work together to reorganize these photos and put them into moon phase order. 
Cosmic Address. We've expanded this program, not just for primary grades, but all the way on up through uh, high school and adult groups. For our younger students, we read a story about where we are in our universe, and then we write out our cosmic address, kind of like creating a postcard address. And we talk about each of the wonderful places that we write down in our address. For older students, we have a video that we've taken from the Planetarium Theater and adapted it for the flat screen where we jump off the earth and fly by all these wonderful places and we talk about each of them as we go so that we can get a better sense of where we are and how vast the distances are between the different places in our universe. Patterns in the sky. There are patterns everywhere. So we can talk about patterns of the sun or patterns of the moon. For patterns of the sun, we may watch the sun with stellarium and count the number of daylight hours that we see and record it on a worksheet. Are there any similarities? Are there any differences? For older students, we can expand this and talk about the reasons for the seasons. Magic Treehouse Space Mission, our most popular program in the planetarium, is available for you virtually as well. We do still run the 30-minute recorded program, but now we've broken it up into eight-minute segments. And after each eight minutes, we do an activity where we reflect on what Jack and Annie just learned. For instance, the first question Jack and Annie have to answer is, how many stars are in the starry night sky? So we look at the sky. There's a lot of stars. So we look at different segments of the sky, and we'll count how many stars are in the red circle, the orange circle, the yellow circle. We'll also look at the sky from three different locations, urban skies, suburban skies, and rural skies, and we'll see how light pollution can affect how many stars we see in the sky. True or False is a wonderful program for middle school and high schoolers. We use Stellarium to collect data so that we can answer or evaluate some statements. Is the moon only visible at night? And brighter stars are closer to us. Are those statements true or false? We can collect data with Stellarium about the apparent magnitude of stars, about their distance from the Earth, and then see if there's a correlation between those two. Our solar system. We're a planetarium. We love talking about our solar system. So we use a program called Worldwide Telescope that allows us to fly by all the planets. And we also use still images that allow us to focus on special features in our solar system. The planetarium also has a YouTube channel. Search for RVCC Planetarium on YouTube. Every Sunday we post a video about what is visible in the sky this week or about some um, astronomy news that's going on. So again, check out our website. You can see all those watch from home videos and all the information on planning a virtual field trip. And if you have any questions, please email me at planet at raritonval.edu. I'm happy to answer any of your questions and help you plan your virtual field trip. Until I can see you again in the real planetarium or see you virtually, keep looking up.